Aquaba, and welcome to Expat Life Ghana. I'm Ayo, and this is Tony, and we're documenting our move from Texas to Ghana as we go beyond the return. We've been here two years now, and I think these people are finally wearing on me. What? I can't believe what I am hearing right now. Yep, I said it, we've been here two years, and I loved it, um, but the last few months, I think these people are starting to wear on me. You, you can't say these people, like, what kind of, you can't, you can't well, say that. Well, <laughs> I just said it, they, and I hear other people say these people all the time. No, uh, when, when you hear, like, local people say, you people, they're like talking about your people, like your family or the people in your house or whatever. That's when they say you people. They really just mean like you people, you guys. That's 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 not yeah. that's not the same. It's not it's, even about the locals, not at all. It's about these people coming to Ghana complaining about the Ghanaian culture. Wait, these people are Americans? Yeah. What did you think I was talking about? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> These people coming in who can't get with the Ghanaian culture complaining about everything. Okay, now I'm curious. What what are they complaining about? And I, I have to say, yeah. you, you're you out a little bit more, so you hear more than I hear. So what what is the yes, complaint? Yes, and, and I see it in the Facebook chatter all the time, too. Ooh, ooh. I got a list of these people, the things that they are complaining about. Okay, I'm ready. I gotta know what they are. <laughs> What's the first one? The first one, haggling. Um, that's kind of just part of, like, that's just part of it. There's no way to get around haggling. Right, right. I mean, What's the you're issue? complaining about trying to get the best price for something. Why? And I, okay, I kind of get it. Like, we're so used to going to the store and the price is the price. And so. using your shopper card to make you feel good. And get a discount. <laughs> hey, there's nothing a lot wrong with my saver card. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but you know, that's that's the thing. The price is the price and you don't have to worry. But when you're here, the price is almost never the price. The price Even is... Even at places where the price is the price. What you agree on. <laughs> so... Yeah, exactly. So yeah. you have to haggle. Yes. You, you just haggled for something right behind someone who didn't haggle. And on the way out, they were like, did you get the deal? You didn't even have the heart to tell them that you did. I know. Good job getting the deal. I know, I know. <laughs> and one time, like this happened kind of recently, uh, I chopped the price in half and the guy said, okay. And I said, what, okay? <laughs> oh! I said it wouldn't last. You said okay right away the first time. And the guy just kind of smiled at me and I was like, ah! So, you know. But there are some people who would have, they would have said the price and the person would have been like, all right, that guy would have, made his day his week maybe even I mean I don't know exactly exactly yeah I mean haggling is just part of it and I there's no getting around it even if you're going to the supermarkets and everything right there are certain days where you save more like there's yeah. certain ways that you can get discounts talking to the sales clerks and yeah exactly you find about, you. about secret sales going on so I know it yeah it's true i like it well so haggling is part of it you mm -hmm. can't really people are complaining about that a lot though aren't they because they feel like they're getting taken advantage of yeah if they don't and they don't know how to oh well if you don't know how to haggle bring a designated haggler mm -hmm. i mean that 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 solves the problem we, yeah. we've done that before yeah we're we're like taking we people <laughs> with us to get the best price right i still do it now yeah i just sit back and the person knows what I want, they go out and get the best price. I'm like, thank you. Yeah, so that's just part of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is something that I actually saw in in the group, and that's people don't like that they're seen as rich Americans. Well, <sighs> I know it's kind of hard to be like, but you are though. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> you just, I think you just have to even me when I go out people I'm like yo I'm, I'm the wrinkled shirt not matching clothes now <laughs> <laughs> I 
I only dress when I know I'm going to meet somebody that I need to look presentable for. Other than that, I'm, I'm trying to dress like down. You introduced me to a local who has like literally millions of dollars in real estate in the area. And I met him and I thought he was homeless. <laughs> I mean, it was like, <laughs> he looked like <laughs> it's nothing on his body matched anything. I was like, what? I yeah, mean, I absolutely. thought he was like the security guard or the driver Million or something. Million dollar profile. And he walks around with ripped shirts. And- A hole in his yeah. shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And, he, and as his bag, he had like some child lunch kit knapsack kind of like mm-hmm. whole... It was, I, <laughs> yeah. So, so the fact that you can travel internationally, that you can afford a passport, that you can afford to come here, you kind of are a rich American mm-hmm. because you have the luxury to do those things. So being seen as one is not necessarily like. It's not a bad it's thing. Not, it's not. It's just I think it's how you handle it, and it's it. You say, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have anything. Sorry, you just move on. Yeah. That's, um, that's what I do. We were at the store the other day, coming out of the store. I'm not even joking, oh, wow. you guys. We just got groceries, okay? So I'm looking at the receipt, like, trying to figure out what happened to all the money. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was, like, painful. Oh, like, I know. This is... How did that happen? Inflation. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is funny. A person who worked at the store next to where we were shopping came out, like, all excited to see you. Mm-hmm. Mr. Tony! Mr. Tony, sir! Hey, boss, how you doing? Followed you all the Help. way to the car. Held my hand <laughs> walking all the way to the car. What did he want? Oh, can you dash me something for my small boys? <laughs> it's just like... I'm like... Oh, I don't have anything. My small boys are here with me, so sorry. Yeah. So, I mean, there there is a little bit of baggage that comes with being an American yes. here. Um, but that's it's just... It's all in how you deal with it. Yeah. I, you just got to fuck up. <laughs> yeah. And the third one is kind of the same but different. And that's always being asked for money or phones or material things. The people who ask me for my phone. Yeah. How I I need the I need the phone. I can't I can't just give you my my phone. My phone is like my whole life. Everything is in there. <laughs> it's like all my I can't give you uh, I don't, Yeah. Um I don't understand. I got a uh a um what was it? A WhatsApp text from someone that we met a year or almost two years now when we first came in, the young man at the um Airbnb. Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah. I yes, guess you for he's your phone. Going back to school and he wanted me to dash him five hundred CDs towards his computer. I was like, Whoa. Um sorry dude. Times are hard right now. I yeah. I mean and that goes kind of it kinda of goes back to the rich American thing, but there is a lot of you have something and you should share it, mm-hmm. even outside of just money. Just like, it, I mean, I've had people ask me for my computer, and I'm like, if I give you my computer, I can't work, <laughs> so, right. and I can't buy another one. So there are people that just ask you for your things. Mm-hmm. I've had people ask me for my clothes, for my shoes, for mm-hmm. my purses, for, I mean, and well, some, I- most of my clothes from the States came from a thrift store. Wow, most of my <laughs> clothes, you get everything made here. <laughs> so you can't wear this. It. Sorry, it's just for me. Yeah, but just this idea that like you have it and it's easy for you to have it and you can easily replace it. So yeah. you should give it to me. And again, it is how you approach it, like what you said. Absolutely. Hi, I'm Leo. Subscribe right now. Number four is is complaining about the work ethic. Um, I am totally guilty. Of it's, this. it's just it is what it is. Hey. <laughs> Don't expect good service coming here. It's not going to happen. Don't. I mean, not don't. not as the norm. Sometimes it happens. So Sometimes yeah, and you're surprised, it. like whoa. <laughs> you are a little surprised by it. But. And and. And service is slow. It is, but you know, it's it's beyond that. Like I, I've heard a lot of people complain, a lot of Americans complaining when they come about finding their staff, right? Like finding someone to work at the business they start, or yes. finding someone to work with them in the house, or finding someone to that people don't work the way we work in the States. 
But dude, really think about how we work in the States. I mean... Slave workers. It, for real. Yeah, you don't take, we don't take all of our vacation days. We work overtime for free. I mean, just like... Yeah, yeah. The, so coming from a place where it's like, you're attached to that job. That's your life. Your job is your life. And here it's like, hey, you know, I'm here for... Yep. In America, you live to work. Hours and, yeah. And here, you work to live, and then <laughs> you go home. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that sometimes that comes off a mm -hmm. little like people here aren't hardworking enough. So career-oriented. Yeah, and, and they're not. Mm -hmm. Because in America, we're a little too... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it is. It is hard to find people that have. Yeah, I'm same. running into that issue trying to find people. It happens to, to me over myself. and over. Me I, too. I know your problem. Wow. Oh my gosh. I need, I need a staff. Anyway, number five is kind of a long one, but it's the last one. Okay. And this is people who are like shocked by the cultural things that are different here. You're coming to a whole different country. So there's going to be things culturally uh, that are different. Yeah. Um, the, the, the thing that you're coming from isn't always right. Or best. Or, yeah. Or global. Right. Exactly. There's no template for this is how you do things. And yeah. so coming you, here, you have to be open, open to... Giving and receiving with your right hand. Oh, yeah. Or people looking at you funny if you write with your left hand or wave with your left hand or do mm -hmm. anything with your left hand. And it doesn't have anything to do with they don't like left-handed people. Yeah. Southpaws, you're all yeah, right. Yeah, it's funny because sometimes, you know, I may have something in my hands. And, I know. And you're like, I'm doing this. look like a funny <laughs> transaction. You're giving and taking in the same time, <laughs> you know. You get really like, good at the give and take in one hand. Yeah, so... Um, but, you know, there's a reason for that, and the reason for it is actually so ridiculously logical that, y you know, I, yeah. th it makes sense. So the things that are cultural norms here are norms for, for a reason. Stop hating on, on that. Mm -hmm. It is. This is Ghana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right hand is a huge one. Yeah. I don't understand people who complain about the right hand, though. Like. I do want you to do your business with a different hand right. or whatever you're going to interact with me with. Exactly. <laughs> What's another one? Um, people just walking into your house. I actually don't like that. I, it really irritates me. <laughs> like, you oh, know, you just walked right into my house. That's, yeah, because, I, you know, sometimes you're like, hey, all bodies are accounted for. And somebody just walked in my house. <laughs> Yeah, that's always. But the thing, you uh, let them in your gate. And by letting them in your gate, you, you let them into your house. Right. It's, so. It's, uh, yeah. So. Yeah. 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 It happens. <laughs> Usually we get a knock and enter, but. Yes. Oh, and the knock and enter is huge. Oh, my gosh. You, you can't be upset that someone is irritated if you don't knock mm -hmm. before you enter a room. Knock and enter is the norm. Mm-hmm. Knock and enter. Hey, you knock. I'll go. I, I, I don't understand why people are irritated by that part of I'll it. I'll go. Really. Anyway. So, all right. Um, There's another one. We almost got a divorce over this one. Drop a comment below and let us know what you think. We almost got a divorce over this one. Um, yeah. People cutting in front of you at the grocery line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> my wife is so passive that, you know. Hey, I take offense to that. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, hey, <laughs> stay your name. Let the people get in front of you. You I'm actually sure. were like, I know. I was like, stop pushing on me and What's wrong with you? I don't want to get that. happened to me yesterday where uh, I had a lot of stuff and this guy just walked in front. I'm like, yo, yo, oh, but I have one thing. I'm sorry, I have a lot of stuff and I've been here a long time. <laughs> my time is short. Sorry. And, and they're just looking at me like, I, I don't believe you're not, not no. There, there's like five other cashiers you could have went to. You just, yeah. no. Yeah, so there's a, there's a little, um, there's like an assertive game of chicken sometimes in the checkout lines. <laughs> yeah. And or at the market, just trying to get into the market. Somebody will just yell, walk right in and be like, yeah, that's me. And, and you're. And, and, and to be honest with you, oh, oh, auntie, you, you do it the worst. I tell you, I go to the market 
and these older women who are just bogarting right in front of you. Look at you. <laughs> I'm like, whoa! I what? You're not I'm even going to say anything. Are no, you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh-uh. Hey, when you get to a certain age, you get to a little bit of you know. There's Tonight. some benefits to age. When hey, I just okay. But uh, young man, no, no, no. Respect yourself, please. <laughs> yeah, so people do step right. In right front of in front you. Of and you. that's that's grocery line, that's at the market, that's on the road, that's I mean, you know, you you gotta take what you gotta take. Yeah. That that's okay. that's just how it is. Well here's I, the next one. I know you are very, very I mean, un, I com- I about. complain about it, but I complain yes. about it when we're in the house. I don't go and complain about it outside of the house. Right. But it is a lot for me to adjust to how women are treated differently here. Right. And and that's partially because I'm a very strong-willed, highly educated, powerful black woman. And I'm very outspoken. <laughs> and all of those characters <laughs> together I'm very outspoken. sometimes are not. Yeah, they don't go over well here. <laughs> Some guys are like, yo! You need to go get your wife. And I'll be like, Bro, you gonna have to talk to me like that? Hey, man, better you than me. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't go over the best everywhere. Yeah. And so. I'm, I am I do kind of acknowledge in some spaces where I do have to, like, pull back. And then in other spaces where I'm like, no, mm-hmm. we're not going to do that today. Like, when we went to the bank and the, I was trying to do bank business and you were and standing the, there and the guy kept talking to you and I was literally like, MF, yeah. hello. <laughs> yeah. You're talking to me. And yeah. it just was like... I actually left there. I didn't even do any business there. Yeah, so I didn't want to do. But it's hard to come from. I I understand it's hard to come from the states where you are tasked with being <laughs> the archetype of a strong black woman. Like you're a black woman, you have to be a strong black woman, and then to get here and be like, oh, I walk behind my husband, and mm, yeah, no, you can talk don't. to him. We don't do that in our household. We are. We Sometimes hope. I do it. So it's funny, yeah. Sometimes you will just to humor me. It's not to humor you. It's because people are looking at us. <laughs> I don't care. You look, look like a me. Ghanaian out in the street. I, I know, in the world. I know. It's, and it's like, oh, you ain't got your woman. In the, it's hey, exactly hey. what it is. Yeah, that's how. You gonna yeah. let this American lady walk all over you? I'm like I. Sorry. And I love you for that. You, you, I love you for that. You're like, okay, let me play the role. I'm playing my role. I'm doing my part. I love you, baby. So, but I don't complain. I complain about it in the house. Mm. Usually, or in the car, but I don't complain about it like out on the streets. I understand that it's part of the cultural norm. Yeah. But do you know what I do not understand as being part of the cultural norm? Yeah. Peeing, <laughs> public urination, and peeing on the side of the street. Yeah. I worked in special education in the States and had to help other people use the restroom, so I've seen a lot of people pee. In 20 years of teaching, I've seen more people pee in two years here than 20 years teaching special ed. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and it's everywhere. And I'm still that guy who like, I gotta hurry home so I can go use the bath. I gotta Why? pee. It's like, I passed five guys standing out just peeing out the gut. I'm like, man. And, and so confident, like I an know. Avenger. Pee. Yeah. I mean, just like, I mean, and I've seen ladies. Oh, on the yeah, side yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and hold don't hold and squat, and I'm like, no, <laughs> man, ma'am. don't let it be a traffic jam on the motorway because yeah, you'll see a troll troll open up and the ladies just pile out right in the middle of the, and you're like, okay, auntie. And I and I get there's, I I've been in the hunt for a public restroom right where it's like, hey, I gotta use the bathroom, and I've walked in and be like, well, I don't ever have to go that bad. Like there's no. Mm-hmm. There's no, there was one place that didn't even have a toilet. It was a hole. There was one place that had a toilet, but no seat, no cover, no toilet paper, no, just a hole and no water. There was, I mean, I've just, sometimes there's just not a public bathroom. To yeah, I'm use. still that guy who rushes home to use the bathroom. I plan out my day. Go before you leave. Mm. Wait till you get home. Yes, sir. So, yeah, but this, to see other people that it's just completely culturally hey, normative just, hey, I'm just here. Going, I gotta pee. I, and you know what, though? I saw a little kid. He, it, it, it was really funny because it was like four years old. And he had to pee, and I thought he gonna... rushed himself outside of the KFC where I was at, and <laughs> went around, right around outside the door, and just say, yeah. "I gotta pee." You could I KFC is pee. all glass, so you can still yeah. You so can you see just, you. I'm like, uh, uh. that's not as bad. We and were... then he just came back in like, yeah, yeah. 
Hopefully he was using his left, right? Yes, he was. We were on this, we passed some kids on the side of the road and the three kids were standing and, and talking while one kid was squatting, taking a dump. And I was like, yeah. Was, yeah. So. Cultural norms, you see? Right. But cultural you can't hold norms. it against the people for doing this. It's, it's cultural it's norms. Okay. That's how they, it's, that's it's the okay. lifestyle. That's, that's Ghana. That's cultural. That's here. That's. Yeah. You're gonna it. be here. You're gonna have to deal with it. It's completely true. Mm -hmm. Although, <laughs> uh, yeah, peeing on the side of the road. That <laughs> anyway, yes. anyway. So one of the last things you probably have to deal with is the scent of Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. The, so yeah. Oof, wow. So, wow. Somebody said, "How would you describe it?" The, the scent of the scent of Africa. The scent of Africa. And to me, the scent of Africa is like a goat. To and me, a like little the bit of bo. It's like you know, a trotro at the end of a day. Ooh, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, you actually have a you, you bought a cologne recently that yes. was called the scent, of Africa, the scent of Africa, and I literally burst out laughing when you said you wanted it. I was like, what is it? Like. And it's a, I, and I have to. It's a lovely, lovely cologne. They have two is, varieties, um, and the second just came out. Very, very lovely colognes. Um, I'll but, plug them. But when you said the scent of Africa, I literally just, like, <laughs> I know. Control myself. They're like, this is what we want the scent of Africa to be. Yes, and what the it is, actual is, scent of Africa is like a really be a hot and a goat, goat, yeah, and his funky goat tender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the odor in here is optional, so just like they don't shave leg, ladies don't shave their legs here. Okay, now we're getting a little too deep into it, but but I, I that's true. Life is life, you know. I, I think you have to deal with, it, but you know, yeah. that scent. So this whole like idea of the you people, yeah, or these, these people, people, these people, these people, these people. These people, these people. Yo, that kind of brings us to number six, right? It's yep. like number six, people just not doing their homework before they come so they can find the good and not get caught up in the complaining. Oh, the complaining. <laughs> the complaining. So when Tony said, uh, you people, he meant you American people and yeah. how this whole thing needs to kind of stop. Because the, the truth is, you're choosing to be here. This is Ghana. <laughs> this is Ghana. This is Ghana. This is it. And you do have options. Uh, don't be rude and come to a place and then complain about it. Yeah, that's not cool. No, not, that's a, not, cool. not at all. Yeah. If you want to come and see the real Ghana and understand what you're actually seeing, mm -hmm. then take one of our day trips or stay with us for one of our tours. That way you can see what it's really like to be here mm -hmm. and know what you're going to deal with on the daily if you decide <laughs> to come and make Ghana your home. And Tony's very glad to have made Ghana his home. Absolutely. Join us for our monthly lives here on YouTube the last Friday of every month. That's next week. That is next week. Already. Oh my gosh, it comes up so fast. So yeah, click that notification bell when you subscribe so that you know when we go live. Yeah, and with that, Charlie out for now. I have to tell you. <laughs> Tell me when we hit stop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're still recording. Oh, uh, let me hit stop so you can tell me the yeah, story. Where's yeah, my yeah. button? Oh, uh, we gotta take a picture. That, that's not how we take a picture. Oh, I thought you would just be like click, 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 you click, know, click, click. The click, last click. couple pictures, you have not been leaning close enough to me. These children today. I don't oh. have the scent of Africa. The scent of Africa. <laughs> Here, no. can we get the scent of Africa, Tony? Oh, Come on, no. the scent of Africa. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to deal with. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, 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 that's not good.
<laughs> well, I was just tearing. Uh, you know, deodorant is optional. <laughs> Sound right here. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, bottle yeah. it up and send it to people. Uh, the terrorist act. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> For real, my eyes are tearing up on this side. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's true, though. <laughs> my eyes are tearing up. I mean.